What's going on, nation? We are back with the only two exercises you need for muscle growth series, and this time we're hitting them buns. But first, if you've missed any of the previous videos in this series, especially the one on chest, click the link above to see the entire playlist or just wait until the end of the video. Now, when most people think about legs, they don't really think about their glutes. And for most people, the only glute work in their workouts is from heavy back squats. But are squats enough to properly train your glutes for muscle growth and explosive power? Well, the short answer is no. You see, your glutes are very big and powerful muscles, but they're only assisting your hamstrings and quads during your squats. And the key word here is assisting. Sure, they'll help you come out of a deep squat by extending your hips, but that's not really enough when it comes to maximizing strength and size. But before we get started with the only two exercises you need for muscle growth, guys, the article version of this video has been up since yesterday. So if you want to be first to see what's new on my channel, download my app. Oh, and make sure you subscribe and tap that notification bell. So why is glute strength important? Well, believe it or not, strong glutes will help you with most, if not all, of your big lifts, such as squats, deadlifts, overhead press, and bench press, and they'll also help with your posture as well. In fact, if you haven't watched my video on addressing anterior pelvic tilt, check out that article on my app, and you'll immediately understand how important glute strength is when it comes to preventing lower back pain and posture imbalances. But enough of that talk. Let's get into the two exercises. Exercise one is the barbell glute bridge. You're going to do three sets of five reps, resting about 60 to 90 seconds in between your sets. But this exercise is much more than just thrusting your hips into the air, so make sure you pay attention to these three key components while performing the movement. Number one, master the movement first. You need to start with your body weight to get the form down, guys. This includes pushing through your ankles while keeping your spine neutral and hyperextending your hips at the top of the movement while simultaneously flexing your glutes as hard as you can. I know, it's a lot to do at once. And so many people waste their time with this exercise because they don't know how to hyperextend, and that's because they didn't master body weight first. In fact, it might even be a better idea for you guys to perform a warm-up set of 15 slow repetitions to activate your glutes so your focus is where it needs to be when you start repping heavy weight. Number two, stop if you feel pain. Guys, if your lower back hurts at any point, you're doing the movement wrong, which usually means you're hyperextending at the top by using your spinal erectors instead of your glutes. If that happens, you need to reset your form. At the starting position, you should not be able to fit your hand behind your lower back. Then from that point, press through your glutes and hold the top position for a second or two. And one more thing to keep in mind is your foot position. The further away your heels are from your butt, the less focus you're going to have on your glutes. So don't be afraid to readjust your feet every few reps. And number three, progress with the movement. Start adding weight as soon as you feel comfortable with the exercise. Who cares if it looks weird or if that people are staring at you? What the hell are you so self-conscious about? The people staring at you with their stupid droopy butts? Screw them. You need to rethink your goals and why you're going to the gym. Your training is your time. So get in the zone and focus on yourself. And now for exercise number two, which is a hip thrust. And you're gonna do three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions resting 60 to 90 seconds between sets. And once again, there are three key components you need to keep in mind to safely execute this exercise. But make sure you smash that like button first because everyone else only cares about your arms and chest. But here I am showing you guys how to get buns of steel and that's because I'm dedicated to this community and all the butts in it. So tip number one, understand the main difference between this exercise and the barbell glute bridge. And I've noticed that because the hip thrust looks very similar to the glute bridge, that most people make a choice between them, and usually the hip thrust wins because it looks easier to execute. However, believe it or not, due to the positioning of the body, the two exercises deal with the exact movement pattern but the resistance during a barbell glute bridge is most intense at the top, whereas the most intense part of a hip thrust is at the bottom position where you have to explode out of the hole. This is why the two exercises complement each other so well. Number two, 
protect your groin. And this tip also applies to the glute bridge as well. If you find that the barbell is hurting your hips or your groin, just grab a towel or a barbell pad to cushion the force and make the movement pain-free. But for me, the pain is an indicator that the barbell is in the wrong position, and I'm not putting enough force into pushing the barbell into my legs because the pain usually comes from the barbell sitting too loosely on your thighs. So try a few reps with no pad first and really push the barbell into your legs the entire time. And this goes for the glute bridge as well. If you still have a bit of pain though, either push through it as you will get used to it or grab a pad. And number three, prioritize your glutes. If you're stuck squatting or deadlifting the same weight for weeks or even months, you need to switch it up. Clearly a plateau has been hit and you need to find a way to increase your explosive power through your hips and that means focusing on your glutes. So with that in mind, let's combine these two exercises with the only two leg exercises you need for growth and we get the following routine. Exercise number one is the barbell glute bridge and you're going to perform three sets of five repetitions. Exercise number two is going to be the barbell front squat, and you're going to do four sets of 20 reps followed by four sets of eight reps. Exercise number three is going to be the Romanian deadlift, and you're doing five to seven sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. And then the last exercise is going to be the hip thrust, and you're going to do three sets of 10 to 12 reps each. And then you can even finish the workout with four to five sets of six to eight repetitions of a deficit deadlift to further increase your mind-muscle connection and your ability to really fire your glutes and hamstrings together for the most explosive power. I hope you all learned a lot from today, and if you're in need of a new muscle building program, I'm offering personal coaching for the first 50 people who download my app and join as a platinum member. As soon as you join, you're automatically friends with me and can inbox me directly. And guys, my app is only $8 a month and covers everything. Full programs, custom meal tracker, extensive exercise and routine database, articles full of amazing tips, healthy recipes, and so much more. But if a double shot vanilla mocha cappuccino latte frat with whipped cream on top is more important to you today, well then spend your money on that. See you later. You know, as soon as you download my app, you might be a bit overwhelmed as to which of my programs is right for you, but don't worry, I got you covered. Just click the link below to go to my program selector tool and it will help guide you to the perfect plan for your goal. And if you missed any of my previous videos in the Only Two Exercises series, just click over here.